What is that sharp, peculiar thing? It almost looks just like a fin. <laughs> oh, Mr. Shark, don't scare me so. It isn't funny. No, no, no. We need to count your teeth. OK. One. Two. Three. <laughs> now, please go away. What? We need to count at least one more. Very well, then. Three plus one makes four. Oh, what a cheeky, cheeky shark. Always snap, snap, snapping. Hello there, Mr. Messy Mole. Have you alone dug all these holes? It's quite a lot of mess you've made. Oh, look! Here comes the gardener's spade. He's filling up holes one and two. Now, three and four have been filled up too. Five and six, he's nearly done. Now, seven holes. That leaves just one. Oh no, he's filled up number eight. But look, who's that up by the gate? <laughs> Hooray! It's Mr. Mole. He's just not going to stop. Dig, dig, digging holes. Sweet mummy duck out on the lake. That's such a lot of noise to make. You're trying to call your babies back? Well, let us help you. Quack, quack, quack. Here they come. One, two, three, four. Was that it? Or are there more? You have six ducklings all in all. That means we've one, two, two more ducks to call. Here they are by those sticks. Now we've got all one, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Hooray! Now you've helped the babies find their mum. I'm Kirsty the chameleon and I've lost my colours. Maybe my friends at Number Zoo can help me find them. Have you met the animals? There are quite a few. Let's look for my colours as we go round the zoo. The lion's the king with a fine yellow coat and a roar that rumbles from the back of his throat. The gorilla is strong and his fur is dark grey. He might look quite scary, but he just loves to play. Down in the deep lives Harry the whale. His thick skin is blue from his nose to his tail. Alligator yawns. His teeth look so mean. His claws are quite sharp and his scales are dark green. My friend the flamingo loves to stand and just think. His feathers are soft and a lovely bright pink. The ladybird has wings tucked into her back. Her colour is red with a few spots of black.
the black and white panda is cheeky and funny. She eats lots of bamboo and then rests when it's sunny. Coiled around a branch you cannot mistake. The shiny green shape of Lucinda the snake. With a shaggy brown coat, the bear lives in a cave. His claws may be sharp, but he knows how to behave. The orange striped tiger pads around on all fours. She swishes her tail and she sharpens her claws. The penguin looks smart in a black and white suit. And his baby is soft and so fluffy and cute. This elephant is one of the kindest you'll meet. She's wrinkly and grey, and she's got massive feet. The monkey loves climbing, and his fur is light brown. From up in the tree, he loves to swing down. With a slimy red body and sticky red toes, how does Newt do it? Nobody knows. With a dusty grey hide and a horn on her nose, the rhino stands out wherever she goes. It's zoo closing time, so we must say goodbye. Are my colours back? I'll give it a try. Look at my skin, it's starting to glow, shimmering and bright, just like a rainbow. the monster truck and his friends heading for the stadium. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. I'm so glad you could all make it today. Let's go inside the stadium and jump some vehicles. Max goes first, he gets things done. Watch him jumping over one. Here's a monster truck, sky blue. She doesn't jump just one, 
but two. And now, what's this we see? A monster truck jumping. One, two, three. Can yellow truck do even more? Look at her go. One, two, three, four. Purple truck is ready to drive. She jumps. One, two, three, four, and five. This next truck has got some tricks. Not one, two, three, four, five, but six. This really is monster truck heaven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These monster trucks are looking great. Pink truck just jumped over eight. All the trucks are doing fine. Green truck easily clears nine. Now it's time to count again. Watch our last truck jump all ten. Fantastic jumping, everyone. Are you ready to count them again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten massive monster trucks. Thanks for helping us count today. That was great fun. We're playing a game here at Number Zoo. The animals are hiding. It's up to me and you. To spot a nose, a tail, some ears, a beak. In this happy game of animal hide and seek. Now, what are these lying here strewn all around? And who threw that now? Could you please turn around? It's a monkey. Oh look, what's that now? Another banana? But with green scaly spikes. Ha ha, of course, it's an iguana. Who's hiding now? And what are those? Stripes. And what was that growling? Mouse, get out of here. Yikes. Of course, a tiger. Did you get that too? You did? Wasn't he scary? I hope we don't meet any more scary creatures now. Come on, let's go somewhere less jungly. Oh look, we can cross on this log by this stream. But wait, are they claws? Surely logs Aren't this green? Unless, yes it is. It's an a, a, a alligator. Run! Phew, that was close. No more scares, please. Just hiding, okay? Let's sit for a while. Have a snack. Then we'll go. Hey, that's not a hook. It's a horn. It's a rhino. What a good hiding place, Mr. Rhino. What a good place to hang a hat. Funny, clever rhino. Who could be hiding now? What's by that big rock? Look, there are some feet. And poo! What's that smell? It's raw, rotten meat. Ew! What animal would eat that? A vulture, of course. 
Who will we find next, I wonder? This sofa looks comfy. Love the warm, fluffy back. Wait a second, it's moved. Ha ha, that's because it's a yak. Who else might be hiding, do you think? How strange, how absurd. One leg and no head. Hang on, it's a rather sleepy flamingo bird. That's a funny way to sleep. Now who'll be next? Who's hiding, do you think? Oh, look, a party with lots and lots of delicious looking food. Yum! Mmm, cake on a plate. Jelly on a dish. Mmm, but wobbling that much. Hey, wait, that's not food. It's a wibbly wobbling jellyfish. Ha ha! Cheeky jellyfish, were you pretending to be party food? That could have been nasty, you crazy wobbling jellyfish. I wonder who's hiding now. A penguin. But you're not hiding, are you, Mrs. Penguin? Hey, wait. What are those underneath by your tummy? Four feet? No, that's a baby and you are its mummy. What a cute baby penguin that was. I wonder who else might be hiding in the zoo. Hey, stop! What was that? Moving there in the leaves! Oh, look! It's a munching giraffe that's as tall as the trees. Time to go home now. Let's finish our game. What's there by the tree? A claw, now a mane. Of course, it's a lion. Well done, Mr. Lion. I must say, you've all hidden really well. I've had a lot of fun. Have you? So see you next time, down at Number Zoo. Let's build a digger. Track. Undercarriage Cabin Levers Engine Counterweight Hydraulic cylinder Boom Stick Bucket We've built a digger Over there is a big hole in the ground that needs filling. The driver controls the boom with the levers and empties the dirt from the bucket into the hole. Good job! number zoo. Do you want to help me feed the animals their meals? 
all of the animals eat their meals at different times of the day. And they all have their favourite food to eat. Look, it's the special number zoo clock that tells us what time it is. The little hand is pointing to number eight. And the big hand is pointing straight up at number 12. That means it's eight o'clock. Time for a morning feed for Leon the lion. Lions are carnivores, which means they mainly eat meat. Shall we feed Leon some meat? Gobble, gobble. It's now 10 o'clock. Look, the small hand is now pointing at number 10. That means it's time for the penguins to have breakfast. What do penguins love to eat? That's right, fish. Luckily, we have lots of fish in this bucket here. Let's throw the fish to the penguins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fishy should be enough for your breakfast. It's 12 o'clock, also known as midday. Look at that. Midday means that both hands are pointing at number 12. And it means we need to go and feed the tallest animal in the zoo, the giraffe. Unlike Leon the lion, who is a carnivore, Jenny is a herbivore, meaning she only eats plants. Giraffes like to eat the best leaves and twigs from the top of the tree. These leaves are nice and high, so Jenny the giraffe gets to stretch that long neck of hers. The time is now half past one. Look, the small hand is pointing between one and two and the big hand is halfway round the clock, pointing to the bottom. That means we're halfway between one o'clock and two o'clock. Half past one. I think it's time to visit Ooh. Gary the gorilla. We have some lovely fruit, seeds and leaves here for you. Gorillas need lots of food, so let's throw him all of this yummy stuff. Can you spot the big hand pointing down at the bottom of the clock? This means it's half past again. Look, the small hand is now between two and three, which means it is half past two and time to feed Benji the bear. Let's give him a treat today. His favorite food is a certain type of fish, a salmon. There you go, buddy. Bon appétit. At three o'clock, it's time to feed another animal. Here's Ronnie the rhino, and she's looking hungry. She's another herbivore and enjoys eating grass and plants. So let's put a nice, fresh bag of grass and twigs out for her to munch on. Yum, yum. It's now quarter past four. Can you see the big hand is now in a different place? 
It's a quarter of the way round the clock, but the little hand is pointing just after four. So it's quarter past four. I think we should go and feed the flamingos. Oh look! The flamingo's pink colour is a bit faded. Let's feed them some yummy pink shrimp. Ha! Look! When the flamingo eats the pink shrimp, her feathers turn pink. That's amazing! At five o'clock, it's time to give Billy the beaver some more food to eat. He eats the bark and leaves off a tree. Watch him chomp away at it. It's six o'clock now and time to feed the panda. Do you know what pandas love to eat? Well, a panda is actually quite fussy. They only eat leaves from the bamboo tree. We had to search high and low here at the zoo, but we've managed to find some lovely bamboo branches for Percy the panda. It's now getting late at the zoo, but there's just enough time for a nighttime snack. What time is it? Can you tell the time? Yes, the small hand is pointing at the eight and the big hand is pointing straight up to the top. That means it's eight o'clock. Let's give those cheeky monkeys a nighttime feast. What do monkeys love to eat? Yes, bananas. But they also love all sorts of ripe fruit and vegetables. So let's throw all sorts of delicious fruit and vegetables in there for them. It's closing time now at the zoo and all the animals are going to sleep. Thank you for helping us feed the animals today. everyone. The mechanicals are helping out on the construction site today. We're going to have a smashing time with Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. There's lots of walls to build and the mechanicals are really good at it. Yellow mechanical slaps on the mortar which holds the blocks together. Splodge. Splat. Blue Mechanical lays the next block on top. Squelch! Scrape! Ah! Here's Dylan with some more blocks. Sid the Skid Loader is using his mixer attachment to churn up some more mortar to stick the blocks together. He's working hard. There's lots of walls to build today. Look at them go, they're so quick. They'll be finished in no time. Oh dear. 
I've just spotted a problem. Can you see what's wrong? Yes, that's it. The mechanicals may be good at building walls, but they've rushed the job and they've built the wrong shapes. Look at those funny shaped walls. A circle. A semicircle. A triangle. An oval. A pentagon. A hexagon. A star. A crescent. Only two of the walls have been built properly. A square and a rectangle. I think we need someone to knock down the silly shaped walls and start again. This looks like a job for Ryan the Wrecking Ball Crane. An enormous circle wall? Well, that's certainly no good at all. This semicircle's half as bad, but its shape still makes me sad. This triangle wall really isn't great. It's fallen over under its own weight. An oval wall is just insane. Smash it down and start again. Pentagon and hexagon both are wrong. We need them gone. You won't get very far with a wall shaped like a star. That crescent wall looks like a frown. Swing that ball and knock it down. But this wall, you can leave right there. It's great. A perfect, solid square. And this one too is the correct angle. Build more walls that are rectangle. While the mechanicals get on with building the new square and rectangle walls, shall we look at the shapes one more time? Circle. Semicircle, triangle, oval, pentagon, hexagon, star, crescent, square, rectangle. That's more like it. Fantastic job, Mechanicals. We got there in the end. Thanks for helping out. I'll see you again soon. Bye. There's more animals hiding down at Number Zoo today. Shall we see who wants to come out and play? Now, where did that pond go? And who used that hose? Aha, now I've guessed it. An elephant's nose. Hey, another splash. Who made that? And a ball? Now why did that ball roll away from the wall? Aha, I know. That's a dolphin's nose. Good hiding place, Mr. Dolphin. But the ball gave you away. I'm sure that small island just moved about. And there, did you see all that water shoot out? You did too? It's you! Well done, Mr Whale. You're so big you nearly got away with that. Oh look, some zebras. A dad and a mum. But 12 legs between them? Well, that must be wrong. Unless... Ah, there is. I thought so. Hello, little zebra. What a fantastic way to use your stripes. Hey, what's that in there? Inside that bamboo? One eye, now another. Hey, panda, it's you. Now what hit my head then? twig from a tree? 
And that black shape there, is it a knee? It is. It's a gorilla's knee. Of course, you love hiding in trees, don't you? Now, what else would be hiding so high in the sky? Someone who climbs or someone who flies. An owl. You do look tired, Mrs Owl. Have you been up all night chasing mice? Well, no wonder you're tired. Are you having fun there, kangaroo mummy? Hey, what's that in there? In that pouch on your tummy? Ah, oh, hello little Joey. Were you hiding there all along? What a warm, safe place to hide. Great choice. I don't think I've noticed this hose before. With patterns all over. Curled up on the floor. That's not a hose. It's hissing too much. I knew it. It's a slithering, hissing snake. Yikes! What were they then? Somebody's toes? Somebody hiding? Oh look, now a nose. A newt nose. We found you. Off you go then, little newt. Have a nice swim. Hello, Mrs Quail. What's that by your leg? Half buried in the sand. Is it an egg? It is. Oh look, now it's hatching. You did hide your egg so very well, Mummy Quail. Now what's this I see in the water right here? Two funny nostrils, two eyes and two ears. It's a huge hippopotamus. Wow! Good hiding, Mr Happy Hippo. I've had so much fun again. Have you? We'll see you next time for more Number Zoo. Let's build a fire engine. Wheels. Chassis. Cabin. Water tank. Water pump. Storage compartments. Hose. Ladder. Siren. Flashing lights. We've built a fire engine. Look, there's some smoke. There must be a fire. Let's go and put out the fire. The fireman uses a hose, which is connected to the water tank to put out the fire. Well done! Alligator beef.
playing hide and seek down at Number Farm today. What's that? Behind the hay bales, a swishy tail. Small horns and a sound that goes moo. It's a cow. Yuck! Who loves rolling in squishy, slimy mud? This animal does. All we can see is a pink, curly tail. Look! The mud is sliding off. Oh, hello! It's a pink pig. There's something under the water in the pond. Look! There! Swimming behind that weed. It's shiny, scaly and has a fin. It's a fish. I can see a nose. Look! It's twitching. And there's two big, pointy, fluffy ears. Come on out of your hole. It's a rabbit. Oh, hello, rabbit. There's something pecking at that grain. Peck, 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 peck. And what noise is it making? Cluck, cluck. Cluck, 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 cluck. It's a chicken. This animal has beautiful brown fur and very strong antlers on its head. What sort of animal do they belong to, I wonder? It's a deer. This animal is very fluffy, with lovely warm wool. It's not a sheep, 
No, no. It has a longer neck than that. Do you know? It's an alpaca. What's this animal trotting so quickly? Wow! Farmer George is even riding on its back. Can you see its furry mane? It's a horse. Is that a snake behind the bush? No, it can't be. Snakes are scaly, not furry. And listen, can you hear that purring sound? Oh, it's the orange cat. We're under the water again. There's something floating above us on the surface of the water. Look at its webbed feet paddling away. Let's go up and take a look. It's a duck. What fun we've had playing hide and seek today. We'll see you again soon down at Number Farm. Bye! Bobby the bus is visiting us today so we can learn what makes him special. Great to see you. Shall we go inside and put Bobby on the turntable so that we can take a closer look at him? Let's all see what we can learn as we make Bobby turn. Bobby's wheels. He wouldn't take his passengers very far without these. They go round and round, just like in the Wheels on the Bus song. Bobby's sign. Bobby has a sign that can change to tell passengers where he's going. It helps passengers catch the right bus. Bobby's wipers. These keep his windscreen clear of rain and dirt and bugs. So his driver can see where they're going. Bobby's headlights. Bobby needs powerful lights for driving at night time. They help him see the road and help other vehicles to see him. Bobby's horn. Bobby's horn is very loud. He can sound his horn in an emergency to make sure other vehicles know he's there. Bobby's doors. Bobby has a special set of doors for his passengers so that they can get on and off the bus easily. Bobby's engine. Buses are heavy and need a powerful engine to turn the wheels. Bobby's rear lights. Bobby has red lights at the back so that other vehicles can see him in the dark and also to let them know when he's slowing down to stop. Thanks to Bobby for helping us today. I hope you enjoyed finding out about what makes a bus special. We'll see you again soon. Bye! There's lots of animals to meet today. There's mummies, daddies and babies who play. Animals on land and animals in the air. Let's start by looking over there. Hello Daddy Lion. Where's your baby? There she is. Your baby is called a cub. Hello Mummy Alligator. Where's your baby?
Hello. Your baby is called a hatchling. Hello, mummy elephant. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, mummy hummingbird. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick. Hello, Daddy Frog. Where's your baby? Oh, look. Your babies are called tadpoles. They'll grow arms and legs soon and grow into frogs. Hello, Mummy Kangaroo. Where's your baby? There she is, in your cosy pouch. Your baby is called a joey. Hello, Daddy Seahorse. Where are your babies? Here they come. Your baby is called a fry. Hello, Mummy Zebra. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a foal. Hello, Mummy Swan. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cygnet. Hello, Daddy Seal. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a pup. What wonderful animal families we've met today. See you all again soon. Bye. A. A is for alligator. B. B is for bear. C. C is for camel. D. D is for dolphin. E. E is for elephant. F. F is for flamingo. G. G is for gorilla. H. H is for hippo. I I is for iguana J J is for jellyfish K K is for kangaroo L L is for lion M M is for monkey N N is for newt O O is for owl P P is for penguin Q 
Q is for quail. R. R is for rhino. S. S is for snake. T. T is for tiger. U. U is for urchin. V. V is for vulture. W W is for whale X X is for x-ray fish Y Y is for yak And Z. Z is for zebra. Thanks for learning Animal ABC with us. See you again next time. Here come our biggest friends. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you help me count the trucks whilst they do their important jobs? Oscar the old bus is number one. Slow and steady, but he gets the job done. Larry the lorry is number two. Perhaps he's got a parcel for you. Fiona the fire truck is number three. Spraying water on a flaming tree. Celia the cement mixer is number four. She churns and churns and churns some more. Five is Dylan with a heavy load. Helping to build this tarmac road. Six is Bobby. He's doing fine. Dropping off passengers, rain or shine. Seven is Helen, with her rotor blades turning. What a long list of numbers we're learning. Giant George is number eight. He's a real heavy weight. Caroline the crane is number nine. Swinging the hook at the end of her line. Rebecca the recycling truck is number 10, collecting old things to use again. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten big trucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.
I see you. You're hiding. Right under my nose. Ha ha. There, I found you. Now, where did he go? Oh, you cheeky, cheating cheetah. You are simply too fast to see. What an odd looking shape. In fact, what is that? Ah, it's an upside down, turn around, hanging down bat. Wow, those wings make a very good cloak for hiding in, don't they, Mr. Bat? Come on, let's sit down and rest over there. Hey, that's not a rug, it's a furry bear. Wow, Mrs. Bear, you were so still, you really fooled me. How strange, some sand just moved. A big lump, aha, that's not sand, it's a camel's hump. Great hiding place. But your hump gave you away, didn't it, Mr. Camel? What's hiding there? By that rock in the pool. Don't tread on it. No, no! Don't act like a fool. Ouch! It's an urchin, of course. Just look at those spiky spikes. Yikes! I just saw something out for a feed. An x-ray fish, hiding in the seaweed. Wow! What a very see-through fish you are, Mr. X-ray. Why is that moving? That lily pad leaf. Aha! Now I've guessed it. Someone's underneath. It's a beaver. Wow! You must have held your breath for a very long time to hide that well. Hey, what moved just then? Down there on the road. Is it somebody hiding? Ha ha! It's a toad. Mrs. Toad, what a fantastic camouflage. Oh look, an adorable tablecloth. That pattern just moved. Or is it a moth? No, 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 that's not a moth. Why, it's a colourful, fluttering butterfly. I've had so much fun again. Have you? We'll see you next time down at Number Zoo. Hello and welcome back to Number Zoo. If you look closely, the babies will come out for you. Hello, Daddy dear. Where's your baby? Oh, there you are. Your baby is called a fawn. Hello, Mummy Bat. Where's your baby? Hello, little one. Your baby is called a pup. Hello, Daddy Bear. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Camel. Where's your baby? Hello, Baby Camel. Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Mummy Flamingo. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick. And flamingo chicks are born white. 
and will turn pink as they grow up and eat more pink shrimp, like their mummies and daddies. Hello, Daddy Gorilla. Where's your baby? Your baby is called an infant. Hello, Mummy Hedgehog. Where's your baby? Oh, here she comes now. Your baby is called a hoglet. Hello, Mummy Butterfly. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a caterpillar. Soon your caterpillar baby will go into a cocoon and turn into a beautiful butterfly, just like you. Hello, Mummy Owl. Where's your baby? Your baby is called an owlet. Hello, Daddy Spider. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a spiderling. Thanks for meeting all of the new mummies, daddies and babies with us today. See you again soon. Bye. Here come our construction truck friends, heading to the construction site. They're going to help us learn to count to ten today. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on team, let's get to work. Can you help me count the trucks whilst they're doing their important jobs? Here's vehicle number one. It's Celia with her churning drum. Florence is vehicle number two. She's got a very important job to do. Danny is vehicle number three. He's digging a hole to plant a tree. And here comes vehicle number four. Mia helps Danny to dig some more. Rick the road roller is number five. Flattening out that tarmac drive. Dylan the dump truck is number six. He's loaded up with tons of bricks. His giant brother George is the number seven truck, hauling an enormous load of muck. Ryan is vehicle number eight, smashing down walls with his heavy weight. Caroline the Crane is number nine, lifting up our Gecko's Garage sign. Sid the Skid Loader is number ten, always ready to help his friends. Are you ready to count them one more time? One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten helpful construction trucks. Thanks for helping us count today. That was great fun. See you again soon. Bye. Hello, it's great to see you back down at Number Zoo. Let's meet some new babies and their mummies and daddies too. Hello, Mummy Dolphin. Where's your baby? 
Oh, there she is. Your baby is called a pup. Hello, Mummy Penguin. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a chick and is very fluffy. Hello, Mr Hippopotamus. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Queen Bumblebee. Where are your babies? Baby bumblebees are called lava. Did you know there are over 250 species of bumblebees? That's a lot. Hello, Mummy Tiger. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a cub. Hello, Mummy Zebra. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a foal. Hello, Mummy and Daddy Meerkat. Where are your babies? Oh, hello. Your babies are called kits. Hello, Daddy Giraffe. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a calf. Hello, Mummy Turtle. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a hatchling. Oh, hello, little hatchling. Hello, Mummy Eagle. Where's your baby? Your baby is called a fledgling. We've really enjoyed meeting all the new babies today. Thank you for joining us. For more videos like this, you can download the Toddler Fun Learning app by tapping here. We look forward to seeing you again next time down at Number Zoo. Bye!